This Grasshopper project automates a robot to pick, place and weld a component onto a surface. So the component and the surface are completely customizable. Here you can see it pick, place and then it will weld around the component and return to home as we'd expect. So it's very easy to set up. So if I take a geometry, I made uh, this geometry here and as you can see it's very different to the one we've just tested it. Um, so we'll hide this for now and I'll disable the preview here and if we have a look here at the um, pick and place you'll see that once we plug it in that will automatically update so first thing to do is I'll show you how this is being held by the gripper so that's not an ideal way to really hold it as you can see it's only one edge per side so if we go back down here and start Galapagos which is using machine learning uh, it's an evolutionary solver uh, it will basically try to determine the best angle uh, to grip it at by using um, a bounding box and measuring the volume. So it's trying to minimize the volume to find the ideal way to grip it. Now, I won't let this run for too long because this is just a demonstration. But as you can see, it's found a nice angle. It's gripping two edges per side here now. So I will head back to the simulation here. And as you can see, oh, there seem to be, uh, yeah, there's... Uh, there's a little collision here, but you can fix that easily by just changing the initial angle. So, yeah, so something like that seems to work. Um, the initial angle would be where it starts to weld um, on the object. So, yeah, um, we can basically see that right now it will pick the object. And as we expect, it's picking it by the two sides and it will place it down and then start welding around the edges. Now, I wrote these two Python scripts here. Um, which basically use a kind of simplified ray tracing to basically find the outer edges as you can see here and to orient them correctly for the welding process um, so it, otherwise it would be welding the inside ones too as you can see um, here which is not what we want so yeah um, as you can see it uh, it can weld everything and return to the home position so that's fine. A um, couple of useful tools. I've made a um, couple of array options. Oh, there still seems to be um, some collisions here, maybe because they're not easily reachable. But yeah, that seems to be a good initial angle for it. So it's very easy to also solve the collisions. Um, say maybe we want only three by three. Um, maybe we want uh, less. Um, maybe we want them closer in the y-axis so yeah as you can see now it will come and well between them everything's been reprogrammed to um to follow that array so there's also a polar array um say maybe we want just to demonstrate um maybe we want only eight and over 180 degrees that will reprogram it and as you can see it will go through each one um and that's been reprogrammed successfully so uh, also curves, so we've got this curve and it will um, create an array over those. Maybe we only want 10 of them, so we can just change that and there'll be a bit fewer. Um, so yeah, we can basically change all of this and uh, and that will be reprogrammed. I think the most interesting one though is um, the custom one. So what we're doing is we're inputting these planes here. Um, and you can see them here and this one is on the inclined part of the surface and there are no problems with handling that um, I'll get rid of those previews and um, and just show you how that would handle it so yeah we'll do the first second third and then it will come over and I'll zoom in here a bit um, and it will place it down as we'd expect um, and weld around it. Um, so it uses the normal of that plane to basically reorient itself. And just to show again how flexible this is, uh, if I put the rectangle back in, um, yeah, a couple of uh, collisions there, but we can fix them again with the initial angle. And yeah, that's been completely reprogrammed and uh, we can weld all of those two again. So that it's pretty flexible, um, very powerful idea of automating the programming of a robot that's automating something else.